Hey guys, it's Jared with RVI, and today we are talking about how RVI braking systems work, specifically when it performs in a braking and when it doesn't. So the three things we're gonna talk about today are what triggers or causes the braking system to pull or to push on the brake pedal, depending on which braking system you're using of ours, two, when it won't perform, and three, the principles or the methodology behind it. So let's talk about what causes our RVI braking systems to participate in a braking. Uh, there's an onboard accelerometer in the braking system itself. There's nothing on the motorhome, nothing in any of our other products like our tablet or hub that come with the RVI brake systems. It's actually built into the brake, which causes it to be the most safe it can possibly be. So what the accelerometer is doing is it's measuring the changes in inertia or measuring acceleration or velocity over a period of time. Well, what does that mean? So when you're in a braking and you feel your chest being drawn forward in a braking, that means the towed vehicle behind the motorhome is also coming forward as well. And when that happens, we want the RVI brake to participate so that they're both braking together. And that allows us to actually be proportional. So as the accelerometer is measuring less or more braking, and, or you feel a little of your chest being pulled forward or a lot of force on your chest, that means that we can be proportional to how hard you're pushing in the motorhome. When it won't perform is when you are sitting in park because there is no inertia. You're in park, so if you have a loved one that's back there opening the door saying, you're pushing on the brake pedal, but I'm not seeing anything. It's because there's no accelerometer measurement happening at that time. So let's talk about the principle behind that. If the example I like to use with customers all the time is if I'm pulling one of my kids on their skateboard with a rope and I get up to jogging speed, let's say, and then I just stop, all of a sudden their momentum will continue, but mine has stopped. And that's the same thing with the motorhome and the towed vehicle. If the motorhome needs to stop, the towed vehicle has nothing telling it to do that unless you're using our braking systems. So the accelerometer is measuring that all of a sudden there's a change and I need to participate in the braking. Whereas if I'm pulling on that rope and I slow down slowly, I'll keep tension in the rope and there's no need for a braking system when you have the motorhome and the towed vehicle and they're slowing down slowly together. There's nice tension in there and we don't have to worry about it. So again, there's an accelerometer on board. It's all built into the braking system itself and that's how RVI braking systems participate and don't participate in certain brakings. So if you have any questions, never hesitate to reach out. We'd love to help. Email, chat, phone call, we're here for you. Happy RVing.